Long. Now we're going to my second favorite state, New Jersey. Good old New Jersey. Love that state. Hey, Jim, thanks for calling. You are live. Jim. Call. You're welcome. You hear me, buddy? Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate I can. it. Appreciate it. I uh, want to first say amazing, amazing work you're doing. Thank you very, very much for all of humanity because of what you are doing. Getting to my personal issue, I have two components to it. The first one is that I'm wanting to to alter my personal sleep pattern, and I'm wondering if it can be supported by longevity products. And what I'm trying to do is trying to establish an inverted sleep schedule where I work at night and sleep during the day. I want to start a healthy eight-hour sleep pattern during the day when it's bright out, close all the windows and doors, and I've got a quiet area, so I'm, I'm thinking this is the last link that I need. I've noticed the body trying to pull me back in the daytime schedule. I tried it the last month, and it didn't quite work. It started with nighttime naps would start, and it grew in length until the point that I'd be down the whole time. I blame my dog because he's so fun to sleep with. And, and then finally, over the holiday, it turned into two 10-hour all-night sleep sessions. And so I'm wondering if there's anything on the menu that I might be able to purchase to create a solid eight-hour sleep schedule during the day. Well, what are you, a vampire or something? Why Is it a job thing? Why do you want to sleep during the day? It's a job? It's a job thing. Well, the thing is it's a job thing based on the computer, so it's self-directed, self-driven, yeah, um, okay. and it, it involves overnight markets. So. All right, I got it. Okay, so, yeah, so here's what you have to do. Uh, there's no real secret here other than the fact you have to deny your retina access to light, all right? Because your circadian rhythm, your normal sleep-waking cycle, is dictated not so much by the nutrient status in your body, but by the amount of light that your eyeball is exposed to, interestingly enough. There have been lots of sleep studies that have been done at many universities over many different years, and the fundamental fact of the matter is that if you are trying to sleep in a time other than nighttime, then the only way that you can dial that in is you have to get one of those masks, you know, like the, you know, like they they give you when you're on a on a, on a plane, or you know, the, it's like a, just a black mask that goes over your eyes and it completely blocks out all ambient light. I mean, even light from your alarm clock can get into your retina through your eyelid, your closed eyelid, and stimulate a waking cycle. So really the only secret here, Jim, is you have to completely cover your eyes with something. And the best way is just get one of those masks because they'll stay on all night. And um, it takes about seven days, if I'm not mistaken, in order to get your body into its normal sleep waking rhythm so and you know you can force a pattern but the, the trick to this is you have to go to bed at the same time every night you have to go to bed at the same time every night you can, you have to get into a schedule see and it can't be like you know go to bed at uh 8 a.m uh one day and then 10 a.m the next day and then 8 30 the next day and then 9 a.m the next day it's got to be the same time every day that you go to bed with the thing on your eyes and with eliminating as much noise as is humanly possible from your ambient environment. Now, in addition to the diet and the healthy start pack, of course, another thing that you can do is for uh, six hours before you go to bed, six hours before you go to bed, be completely caffeine-free. No caffeine at all, not even decaf anything, for six hours before your head hits the pillow, number one. And number two, immediately before you go to bed, take one ounce of the white liquid calcium in a little bit of water or a little bit of orange juice and slug that baby down. The white liquid calcium helps to put your body into a nice, deep sleep state regardless of when you go to bed. It's going to take about seven days for your body to get into this groove. So set your clock, go to bed at the same time every day, six hours before that, stop having anything that has caffeine in it, and wear one of those black masks to bed. And after day seven, you should be into the new sleep cycle. That's how we do it where I came from, man.